Today I'm going to be teaching guys about the ride of Paul Revere. The standards for this lesson is to interpret the American Revolution, including the perspectives of patriots and loyalists, and factors that explain why the American colonists were successful. What we're going to learn is why Paul Revere's midnight ride was significant to the American Revolution. And a question I just want to start out with is what started the American Revolution? Uh, was it because the British were too restrictive? Pretty much in a way, they, the British were passing a lot of acts, or also called laws, that really uh, held down the colonists and what they could do and how much money they could make, since all profits were going to Britain. Uh, in the last class, I taught you guys about the Boston Tea Party. Great Britain was furious for all the lost profits of tea destroyed in the raid. King George III declared that we must master them or leave them to themselves and treat them as aliens. Britain chose to master the colonies, and you would think that leaving them alone would be good, but in a way, the British Empire was in fact an empire, so they had their finger in everyone's pie, so they controlled uh, all the goods that were going around the world. So it would be very hard for the colonists to actually make any kind of money. Anyway, the, in 1774, British Parliament passed a series of acts of laws to punish Massachusetts colony and to serve a, as a warning to other colonies. The British called these laws the Chorus of Acts, but they were so harsh that the colonists called them the Improbable Acts. One of the acts would close the port of Boston until colonists paid for the destroyed tea, which would, uh, closing down the port would cut their flow of income for the colonies, mainly to Boston. It banned from means of correspondence. It allowed Britain to house troops wherever necessary. It let British officials accused of crimes in the colonies to stand trial in Britain. Britain appointed General Thomas Gage as governor of the Massachusetts to make sure all the laws were enforced. <coughs> During this time, there were Americans who were still loyal to Britain. These Americans who were loyal were called loyalists. Colonists who sided with the rebels were called patriots. On the, excuse me, on the night of April 18, 1775, Gage ordered his troops to arrest Adams and Hancock in Lexington and to destroy the uh, supply of military arms and Concord that the spies discovered. Paul Revere, a Boston silversmith, and his second messenger, William Dawes, were charged with spreading the news about British forces marching towards Lexington and Concord. Revere had arranged a system of signals to alert the colonists in Charlestown on the shore opposite of Boston. Revere and Dawes rode through the night and reached Lexington to warn them of the British plans. In Lexington, they were joined by Dr. Samuel Prescott. On the way to Concord, the group was stopped by a British patrol. Prescott was able to break away and carry the message to Concord over here. Revere was captured, but Dawes was able to turn back and return to where they started. Lexington and Concord, at dawn on April 19th, around 700 British troops reached Lexington. They were met by Captain John Parker and about 70 militia men waiting. The British commander ordered the Americans to drop their muskets, but they refused. It is unclear who fired first, but after the shooting, eight militia men were killed. The British then marched to Concord where they destroyed the military supplies. At a bridge north of town in Concord, a battle broke out forcing the British to retreat. Nearly 4,000 Minutemen and militia arrived in the area. They lined the road from Lexington and Concord, uh, repeatedly firing at British troops. The arrival of a thousand more British troops saved the retreating British from being finished off. Lexington and Concord was significant because they were the first battles fought in the American Revolution. And Ralph Walter Emerson later wrote, colonial troops had fired the shot heard around the world. The war had started and the Americans would now have to choose sides between the loyalists and the patriots. And that is my presentation.